Could you imagine Oklahoma facing Oklahoma State to decide a national championship? Sounds kind of like a dream, right? Well, that dream scenario could just become a reality next week because OU and OSU are both in the hunt right now for a men's golf NCAA championship. Fox 23's Heather Geller explains how the stakes went up today at Karsten Creek Golf Club. It's cut day in the men's NCAA championships. Top 15 will advance to tomorrow's final day of stroke play. Cowboys were second and one of only three teams under par heading into the morning's round. The Sooners, well, they weren't too far behind, tied for fourth. Oh, you on hole four. Garrett Reband in the sand. Nice chip out of it. Makes the putt to save for par. Then Grant Hirschman, great approach shot close to the pin, but it does roll a little. He'll make the easy putt, though, to birdie on the par four fourth. Sooners will finish out the day two over, shaving three off yesterday's score. Cowboys Matt Wolf with the putt on nine for birdie. That would be his second of the day. Then on 18, his approach shot hits the pin, but it takes a roll back to set up this long putt, which is just offline for Eagle. He'll finish out his round with a birdie. Victor Hovland on their approach at 18 hits near the pin, but it takes an unfavorable roll out to the rough. He'll manage to birdie on the hole. OSU matches yesterday's score and remains in second. Cowboys confident heading into tomorrow's final round of stroke play, but say their best round is yet to come. You know, you stick us out here on this course four days in a row, we're bound to have a really good round, and we haven't yet. So. I think tomorrow if we just all stick to what we know and you know come out here, I think I think we're going to get it done. I think we're looking good. Um, a couple of guys have haven't had their best days out here, but I'm I'm sure they're going to bounce back and um, hit us with their their good stuff, and uh, that will be very exciting. Sooners know they'll have to fight to claim a back-to-back -back title. We're still trying to win a golf tournament. It's uh, it's obviously doable out there. Um, you know, we're going out there with the mindset of trying to win a golf tournament, and we'll need to go low tomorrow to do it, but um, it's definitely possible. Anything can happen out there. Tomorrow's field will then be cut down to eight teams for the beginning of match play. In Stillwater, covering news that matters, Heather Geller, Fox 23 Sports. Here's the leaderboard. The Cowboys and Sooners both make the cut for Monday. Oklahoma State staying right up there in second place, three strokes back of leader Duke. Oklahoma's in fifth place at six over par. The top eight teams after tomorrow advance to match play, so OSU and OU both in pretty good shape for the moment, at least. There's another Oklahoma State team that's even closer to winning a national title on the tennis court. This was match point today for Vladika Babic and Sofia Blanco closing out Duke to advance to the NCAA title match. That's going to be tomorrow facing off with LSU at noon. The Big 12 Baseball Tournament title game needed bonus baseball today to decide a champion. We take you to the bottom of the 11th inning. Baylor and TCU tied at five apiece. Bears batting with two outs, a 3-2 count for Shea Langeliers, and he rockets a single back up the middle. It's good for a walk-off win. The Bears claim their first Big 12 Baseball Tournament championship ever, 6-5. ORU had a subdued celebration on Saturday after winning another Summit League baseball title. That was one goal on their list this year, but the Golden Eagles are really more intent on winning their first NCAA regional title since 2006. We're looking to win a regional. Uh, that's our goal. That's our plan. And uh, hopefully we're, we're playing out our, our best baseball uh, come next weekend, and uh, hopefully we can go to Super. Oklahoma softball punched its World Series ticket for the seventh time in the last eight years on Saturday. The Sooners' first game will be in OKC on Thursday. That's against Washington. And head coach Patty Gasso is sleeping pretty well these days, knowing her ladies are playing quite well. It's Mission Oklahoma City. They are playing their best softball right now. Very proud of this group, and we're looking forward to continuing our road forward. Two of the best words in all of sports, Game 7. The Celtics and Cavaliers were fighting to represent the Eastern Conference in the NBA Finals tonight. We go to Boston, fourth quarter, Celtics down one. Marcus Smart lobs it up to Al Horford for the jam. Take another look. The Celtics go up 60-59. to Check out the former OSU star. Yeah, Smart, pretty pumped up about that. Later, Celtics rookie Jason Tatum dunks all over LeBron James. 
But then LeBron, he'd have the last laugh, carrying the team on his back and some defenders, the basket and the foul as the Cavs take game seven, eliminating my Boston Celtics 87 to 79. Hurting for the guys, but they're a young team, so they'll be back. I know you had such high hopes for this. Jeff. I did, and we, there's a lot of Cavs <laughs> fans around here. I remember being at the Thunder right. game, so some happy Cavs fans in Oklahoma too.